We're home. Just arrived um, last night at midnight. And looky, looky here. We've got some bananas. Some bananas that are ready. These guys have been hanging here for the last four weeks. Ready to go. This is how the banana patch looks. Middle of winter. Got some more bananas there. Coming. And um, some more here. Thank you very much for hanging in there. And here we have the the remain of the fig tree without its leaves. All the leaves dropped over June. And yeah, so the signs of winter are everywhere. The pear tree, no leaves. Another fig tree, no leaves. A chair that's been blown over thanks to the winds. Fruits on the ground that no one was here to pick. Fruits hanging on a tangelo. Fruits hanging on the orange tree. What else do we have? Oh, we have some more fruit on the ground down here. Looks like limes. Yep, limes. Limes and a couple of guavas. Apple trees dropping the last of the leaves. Kiwi also dropping its leaves. Autumn is gone. Winter is here. Avocado tree loving the early part of winter. Completely unaffected. Let's have a look. Guava. This is the pink guava. Dropping its um, its fruit. Yep. No one here to pick up the guavas. Let's see if any were had by the animals. There's one. Yep. Thank you very much for being away. Seedling. White sapote tree towering above all the others. Pomelo tree. New avocados that were planted last April. Shredded bananas from the cold. Yep, you can grow bananas in Melbourne, but in winter this is what they look like. Not a pretty sight. Cussed apple behind it. Ice cream bean, not a problem with winter. Still got um, bougainvillea flowering in the middle of winter which is pretty good dragon fruit and sugar cane not a problem lemon tree back there another custard apple right there <coughs> should have a decent fruit on it Apricot tree is bare. And check out the mandarin tree. Whoa. Fully loaded. This is um, a midwinter variety. Right in the heart of winter. This is what we get um, to enjoy. And up here we've got some beautiful flowering hedges. Yeah, decent growth. 
on the cussed apple. And here's another one. So here's a lemon tree. All year round lemons. Here's the white chatut mulberry in the middle of winter dropping its leaves. This is my favorite mulberry of all. It's massive. Grows way, way too fast. So that's dropping its, all its leaves now in July. It's gonna be a messy um, drop. And whilst that's dropping its leaves, the black mulberry is waking up to spring. Waking up to spring in the middle of um, winter. So as one mulberry says good night, it's time to go to sleep. The next mulberry, the black one, is waking up. Waking up to spring spring growth got some more bananas here up along the driveway that are taking their time to mature i think they're just about ready actually yep we'll be bringing these down sometime in august and there's the the white mulberry again from a different angle coming around to the cussed apple which finished early June well, here we have the tropical red papaya which for the very first time hasn't um, died so we might might get our first papaya in Melbourne tropical red papaya that is the same ones you buy up in Queensland and um, I'm pretty happy that they survived through uh, early winter they say it was a mild winter so there's a few there so that's good news very good news and growing just here are um, some more bananas over the fence with my neighbor. It's a really big rack. White sapote coming in really well with lots of uh, flowers. Not sure if these will all stay on over winter, even have some fruit. So that's exciting. First time we've had Waisopodi fruiting in winter. And it's another Waisopodi here, also fruiting. And another one here too, also fruiting. This one is going crazy. Not only fruiting, it's completely covered. So <coughs> literally thousands of flowers so I don't know if this will end up um, being successful this one hasn't um, fruited before they've all fruited except for this one so a waste of pody flying in Melbourne this is the white flesh Indian guava which um, had about five fruit on the ground when we got back last night. Still has a couple hanging on. That's only been in the ground for um, seven, eight months. And here's another white sapote. This is a, 
a tropical variety and also um, flowering and fruiting. This is the the Hawaiian variety of white sapoti. Doing really well. If you can grow white sapoti in Melbourne, not a problem. And lastly, this is the Chirimoya, which um, has got around five or six fruit on it. And that's only been in the ground also for about seven or eight months. It's five years old. Doing really good too. That's it. That's a wrap up of the fruiting garden midwinter, early July 2018.